the lectures I'm going to give will be in many series. So first, uh, first lecture is today. And after that, I will take individual organ and explain to you the diseases and how to treat them. Uh, please subscribe my channel if you like my movies. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Masood Hashmi. Today we're going to start one of our surgery lectures. This is the number one lecture which I'm going to do. A lot of patients come to me and they really do not know where the organs are located in the abdomen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and make diagrams of this organs in this picture and I'll go over with you. So how long have you been doing surgery? I have been doing a general surgery for the last uh, 35 years and I have taught the surgical residents and the medical students while they've been training in our hospital. So this is, I made this is the abdominal drawing. This is the rib cage. This is the umbilicus and this is the pubic symphysis. So first of all, we're going to show where the stomach comes. So there's a diaphragm up there which, which separates the lungs from the abdomen. So first of all, esophagus, which is a food pipe, which is coming, comes like this and it enters into the stomach. Stomach comes down like this. And this part, stomach finishes here. This is called pylorus. This is the duodenum and this is goes here and then comes into the abdomen. There's a thing called ligament of tribes. It's right here. From here, your small bowel starts. Small bowel is about 22 feet long. It comes down here and this is the end of the small bowel. This is called ilium. And then the colon starts. I'm making colon with a red pen. Colon starts like this. It's like a U shape comes down like this, comes down like this, and here's the anus. Now, where the colon starts, right here, this is called cecum. Appendix is right here. So your appendix is on the right side of the abdomen. So this small bowel actually fills up all this space and the large bowel, which is colon, about five feet long. It starts from cecum. This is called ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and then this is the anus. Now, on the upper part here is the liver. So liver has two parts. This is right, and this is left lobe of the liver. The gallbladder is on the right side here. It comes from here. So in just in anatomy, you could see the stomach, small bowel, colon, appendix, gallbladder, and liver. On this side of the stomach is the spleen. Here is the spleen. The kidneys are in the back part of the abdomen, which are here. The two kidneys, each side and the urine comes by ureter into the bladder. And the, another kidney is on this side, on the back of it, and it comes with the ureter and brings urine into this bladder. So this is basic anatomy of the abdomen. So then in, in the next lecture, we'll go through what are the diseases of appendix, gallbladder, stomach, spleen, small bowel, and the colon. So this is a general uh, lecture I want to give it today. The other organ which I want to show is a pancreas. Pancreas is in between the duodenum here. It's a head of pancreas and it's a tail of pancreas which goes to our spleen. Very important organ uh, of, it's called pancreas. Another organ which is important is adrenal gland, which is above the kidney, right here, both sides. So this small bowel also we call intestine. So this is intestine, appendix, ascending colon, transverse colon, and the rectum. So after that, we'll go over individually with the other lectures showing the problems in each organ. Okay, the other thing I want to mention was, although they are pelvic organs, but it's the uterus, 
uterus is behind the bladder is behind the bladder and this uterus has these tubes called fallopian tubes each side fallopian tubes and this side is the ovary so this is the right ovary this is the left ovary o v a r y so these are feeble genital organs uterus fallopian tube fallopian tube on this side and your uh, ovary on the right side now in order to understand more things is that we divide abdomen in four quadrants so if you make a one line straight coming through the belly button up to the pubic symphysis here and other line across the belly button like this this divides abdomen into the left upper quadrant right upper quadrant left lower quadrant and right lower quadrant so this is left upper quadrant this one this is right upper quadrant this is right lower quadrant this is left lower quadrants so in other words if you have appendicitis that pain is is on the right side you have problem with the colon like diverticulitis kidney stones that will be on this left lower quadrant the spleen problem will be the left upper quadrant stomach left upper quadrant part of pancreas is in the left upper quadrant and on the right side most important is your gallbladder pain is on the right side pancreatic pain duodenal ulcer can come can give pain like this and then you have this liver problems so these are the complex situation for abdominal pain the function of a surgeon is to really diagnose what's wrong with the patient before he decides to operate the patient so this is what the complexity is so these lectures are just for information purposes for everybody who are doctors or non doctors to understand when their consultant tells them what's wrong with them so they know what to expect and what to understand thank you very much we'll meet you in lecture number 2 next